So does anyone have any like really funny, bizarre stories when it comes to <laughs> gigs? Any, oh, like... I have my first time in drag uh, Ooh, story. Let's hear that. When I was in first year of university, I was like, I love theater and I love makeup, so why not just like, you do know, drag. Do drag, I'm right, drag you know? And Priyanka was host hosting an open stage. And I was like, you know what, let's give it a try. I had a really good time and I did a hair flip and my wig flew to the other side of the stage. <laughs> did you catch it? And I was gooped. So I <laughs> kind of used that to go off even more. Do you feel like as immigrants or people of color, you feel like you have to work twice as hard to just be as good? Absolutely. To bust my ass before I was the Luna Dubois honey. When I first started, I had to work twice as hard as the next white girl that started at the same time that I did. And like, you know, to make a name for myself. Like, you know, it kind of gets to you a bit. Thank God I got to a place where, like, you know, I am a household name. Honestly, it makes you a fiercer performer. It makes you stronger. It made me the queen that I am today. It's the reason I'm here sitting down in this chair right now. Let me tell you something. As a, because like fair nations, indigenous, black people, minority. minority. Yeah. We are, we have to fight every single day to get your name out there. We need to see the diversity. Start booking for nations, immigrants, Latinos, Caribbean. I really hope like we can make big chance about it. I used to be the only black queen in Ottawa performing regularly. Wow. And thanks God we changed that because now we are two. Wow. But it is two. Big step. <laughs> big step. Now we are two. <laughs>